Hey, what's up guys, this is Tutorials101 and today I'm going to show you how to increase your Fortnite FPS substantially. Fortnite is one of the most played Battle Royale games at the moment while the default settings provide a good starting point, but tweaking and optimizing your PC and game settings can both increase your computer performance and FPS, ultimately resulting in better competitive gameplay. I will show you 5 major changes in settings that will help you increase your FPS quite a lot. So stay tuned and enjoy! Tip number one. Gonna press Windows key. Gonna type prefetch. Press enter. Gonna delete all the files from prefetch. Once done, next step is gonna be typing percentage, temp percentage. Press enter. And then gonna delete everything from your temp folder. And that's it. Onward to the next step. Tip number two. In this step, we'll be modifying our power settings. You're gonna go on power settings by typing that. And you're gonna make sure that your power settings are set to high performance. Next step is to optimize our windows. You're gonna go to control panel. You're gonna click on system. You're gonna type advanced on top right. And then we click on system, go on advanced settings, you click on settings in advance, and then you click on adjust for best performance. And you're done. Onward to the next step. Tip number three. This is a very obvious tip, but you gotta make sure that your graphic drivers are up to date. Go to nvidia.com and you install the latest drivers. Make sure you select your graphic card and you download the latest drivers. Tip number four. In this tip, we will modify our GeForce Experience settings. If you don't have GeForce Experience, what you're gonna do is press Windows key and type run. In, in run, you're gonna write DXDIAG and then press enter. Then you will navigate to the display tab and you have to look for if you have a GeForce card or an AMD card. And if you don't have GeForce experience popping up, you will need to install it. It's pretty easy. I will post a link in the description below. Once you have GeForce experience, you're going to look for your game, Fortnite. Once you select on your Fortnite, click on details. And then you're gonna look that plugged in and you're gonna set up your Fortnite on performance. In this next step, you're gonna press Windows key and go to your task manager. Once you go to task manager, you're gonna look for your Fortnite and you're gonna right click on Fortnite and then you're gonna set the priority to high. And make sure that Fortnite gets more CPU usage than any other program. This will ultimately increase your performance substantially. Tip number five. In this part of the video, we will be modifying our in-game settings. So you gotta follow these settings. You gotta make sure everything is set to low and make sure your window mode is set to full screen, not windowed. Full screen gives you more FPS compared to windowed mode. I personally recommend setting your frame rate limit to your monitor's hertz. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, you should set your frame rate to 144 hertz. Dropping your display resolution substantially increases your FPS, but it does reduce your graphic visual quality by a lot. It just makes your game have less pixels to show, ultimately increasing your frames per second. The most important part of these in-game settings are making sure that your V-Sync and Motion Blur are off. These cause unnecessary strain on your computer, thus resulting in less FPS. 
And another thing you must note is making sure your allow multi-thread rendering is turned on. There is a detailed video on why you should turn the setting on. Next step, we are going to make sure we have our replace turned off. And that should be it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would request you guys for one thing. If you enjoyed watching this video and this video helped you, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Your input matters to me and helps me improve to become a better YouTuber. And you know what? This is all for you guys and I hope this guide helped you and helped you become a better Fortnite player. And there will be more videos coming up. There will be, you know, more improvement, better footage, you know, whatnot. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon with my new video. Take care. Bye-bye.